Folks, my first guest tonight is a multi-platinum musician who, for the past eight years, has been solving crimes on NCIS Los Angeles. Looks like he was getting rid of evidence. Evidence of what? Gold heist. All right, so the bike comes down here. They fire at him. He takes them out. Second bike comes from behind. Catches him by surprise. A hit? Maybe. Two fuel cans. Two vehicles. And only one body. Y'all need to someone else here. Please welcome LL Cool J. <laughs> I like you gave a little knockout to the camera just no, there. No, touch it up a little bit, touch it up a little bit. You know, uh, I had not met you until two months ago, something like that. Yeah. We got sat next to each other yeah. at a... At American a, Songbook Gala. American Songbook Gala, exactly yeah. there, uh, at for a CBS event. And uh, I had such a great time talking to you. Yeah, yeah, we I had a good time. I had to have you on the show. I've yeah. been watching you on talk shows for a long time. I remember seeing you... When did you do uh, Mama Said Knock You Out? That was, that was the 90, in the 90s. I saw yeah, you on Letterman. I saw you on Dave do that's that. That's funny. That's yeah. funny. And I said, ah, that, guy had, that guy is cool for a reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. you've been cool since the 80s. How do you keep cool for so long? Yeah. A lot of people lose their cool at this age. Yeah, if I, if I really tried to answer that, I'd be uncool immediately, right? Well, that's true. Like, you know, it's like Zambu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't name. Yeah. I am so cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can put out a book. Look at the mug above the mic. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Count Cool Out. You were one of rap's first superstars, okay? I mean, because your first, first album was what year? Uh, first album was 85. 1985, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, because uh, my producer looked this up, and uh, yeah. uh, uh, he said that the same year that you released your first album. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! When were you born, John? What year? Eighty-six. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> the same year that you released your first album, uh, the number one song that year was "We Built This City" yeah, by yeah, Starship. Yeah. Okay. On hip hop. Yeah. Now yeah. the number one song is "Humble" by Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Okay. Sit down. Did you be know? humble? Did you know? Sit did, down. Did, are you surprised how hip hop has changed the cultural landscape? Did you, did you have any sense of it back then? No, nah, I mean, if I knew all of that, I know now, I'd have trademarked a whole lot of stuff, right? But, um... <laughs> I mean, that's a real answer, right? Um, but, uh... <laughs> I'll give you the TV answer, I'll give you the real answer. The real answer, I'll start making way more money now, because I know exactly what to do. Um, uh, you know, I, I had no idea, but it was always big in my world. Yeah. You know, in order for you to succeed at anything, it has to, you have to be obsessed with it. You have to love it. You have to be passionate about it. Mm -hmm. And for me and the guys in my, my community and my friends growing up in Queens, you know, hip-hop wow. was the biggest thing in the world. It was mm -hmm. the biggest thing in the world. So, there was, you know, it did, I did notice a change when I started seeing, like, you know, silver-haired ladies in Montana rapping while they did mopping glow, you know? <laughs> to the hip-hop, the hip hip and the kids in the background. I knew things had changed. You know what I mean? Okay. I so mean, when you left the Queens, landscape though... altered a little bit. You know what I <laughs> mean? When Iowa is like, hello, you know, it's you know. <laughs> well, when you were first touring, like when you left Queens, like did you have to like what was it like to go out of the area where hip hop was known? Well, like when I went to Maine, when I was a little, when I was a little. Well, I was about 16, 17, we first went to Maine on tour, I had to ex actually explain to the audience what hip-hop was and what we were doing. Like, this is the DJ. He has two records. There, there are certain points to the record that are break beats. He's gonna extend that break by mixing the records back and forth. I'm gonna rhyme on top of it. When I tell you to put your hands in there, you're gonna put your hands in there. <laughs> I'm gonna say, say ho, and you're gonna say... Ho! Yeah, yeah, they, went, they didn't catch on that quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it was... It was, a, it was a different thing. I mean, really think about that. Like, you know, Kendrick goes out now. I love his album, by the way. And he goes out and he tours, and this is, like, crazy, and Kanye can... I'm an artist and all that, but, you know... <laughs> you know, but when you... But, but I had to explain, like, you know... <laughs> to the Mainers. You know, to you know, the Mainers. That Aya. was like, how dare you, you know? <laughs> hey, you know? Uh, the fella up there is gonna do some poetry, he says. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. It, mm -hmm. was, it was a different world. Different um, world. Now, uh, do, do you remember the first And rhyme? they were white. 
Which what? was really, yeah, they, I mean, not to Well, the surprise. biggest part of the hip-hop audience now is still white, isn't it? White suburban boys or something? Yeah, Isn't that the people yeah, who yeah, pay yeah, for the yeah, most yeah, hip-hop yeah. music? Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Millions of little M&Ms running around, definitely. <laughs> God bless them. God bless them all. I love them, I love them. They bought yeah. my records. Someone's got to pay, someone's someone's gotta pay for that earring No, it's right a gift, there, it's a gift. It's That's a gift? gift? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, 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 Wow, an engagement present? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm not, yeah. I don't think I could pull that off. You know, you'd be be surprised. If people think you got a check, you can pull anything off. You can, you can wear Cinderella's diamond slippers and they be like, oh, yeah, it's a style, you know. Well, if I was going to cool myself up, I'm not sure if I would start with You're the diamond cool. stuff. Really? You're already cool. I am? You're already cool. You're already cool, man. You're already cool. You're already cool. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> oh, is that the TV answer? Or no, is that no, the no, real it's not, answer? no, it's not. No, it's CBS, not. No, it's not. You I want to make sure. No, no, it's not okay. the TV answer. You are I'm cool. I'm ask you when the camera goes off. Geeks of people, like... too, right? Geeks of people, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm a closet geek. I mean, that's why I named myself LL Cool J. Throw people off the scent. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the first rhyme you ever wrote? Um, yeah, I, I, I vaguely remember it. How old were you when this happened? I started writing around 11 or 12. Started writing songs, okay. well, rhymes. Yeah. What, what can the, you um, the rhyme was, uh, a mysterious aura yet surrounds Cool J that gives the other MCs a touch of dismay. I could blow out a candle from a mile away, affect rhyme after rhyme with no delay. I could snap my fingers, make it fly through the air. When you reach your greatest altitude, I could be there. I'm not a mute, no mutation, but my rap is very strange. Creates so much power that it boils your brains. Um, yeah, something like that. <laughs> and you had to explain that to the Mainers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, the Mainers, you know, if it ain't golf and lobster, baby, you're in trouble. Uh, okay, we NCIS, how many seasons now? Uh, we just, we're finishing up our eighth season. The finale is really dramatic. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Chris O'Donnell. Yeah, Chris O'Donnell, O'Donnell great guy. Rich and, uh, guy. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I would encourage everybody to DVR that if you can't watch it live, it's, it's going to be a really dramatic now, and fun show. Eighth season, NCIS yeah. Los Angeles. So much crime. So much naval, <laughs> so much naval crime, crime in Los Angeles. Big I'm body surprised. count. Heavy body count. Heavy body count. <laughs> I would love to know how many characters, each, each character, how many people they've disposed of. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, but you know, I, I've learned a little bit about the crime scene. So could you, know. could you go to a crime scene right now and like say, I got this one, officers, I, back I, off. I think I know the steps. I know I, I got what a little backward what induction do do? in me. Uh, you backward? do a little What's backward, backward induction, like game theory, like you know, start where you want to end up and kind of reverse engineer the situation. Isn't that called but, entrapment? <laughs> what is that? Uh, <laughs> maybe in up? Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> um, not nah, <laughs> Vegas is funny. Um, you know, I probably, you know, DNA, you know, yeah. looking. Yeah, I probably could solve a crime. That's kind of weird. Yeah. I probably could. I would watch that steps. show. I would watch a show where you and a Chris reality show have where to I'm... go solve a crime. Where you take, it would be great, you take all the different uh, Yo, it procedurals would be on... on TV and we put the guys from CSI and NCIS and them law and order people and we put you all like take, to solve take a crime. 14 years to solve the first crime. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yo, I'm telling you. You gotta stretch it. Gotta yeah, stretch because it we can just episodes. episode up to the end, got him. You know, this is like, I have NCIS agents coming. LL, you know, our, our higher ups, you're making us look bad, bro. You, you're solving these cases in an hour and a half. That's like, what like, I've heard. I got know. read in for a jury, and then they said, please don't think that what we're about to give you is NCIS. No camera's gonna fly up somebody's nose. There's no yeah. DNA swab that's gonna solve everything. That's they right. were really mad at people like that's you right. who have these that's shows. Right. But, the flip side, I, I represent the military. I represent all the people out there that are putting their lives on the line. I went down to, like, uh, Camp Pendleton. I met with the special ops guys. I met with some sailors. So I could really represent, the, you know, the military in a good way. So that, you know, that makes it cool. It's, it's still fun. That's nice. You know what I mean? That's nice. That's cool. Well, thanks for uh, Thank representing you. here, Thank man. You, man. Nice to Thank see you. you. Nice to see you, too. NCIS Los Angeles airs Sundays at 8 on CBS LL Cool J, baby. We'll be right back with Star of Hamilton and now